What up everyone, Zonabar here coming at you with another YouTube Diary episode. In this episode guys, I want to change things up. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about um, a few points that I that, that I really want to share with you, share some thoughts. But last episode, I started with numbers of like followers and subscribers and views. And I don't think this is the right, like, I don't think this is the most important stuff to talk about all the time. And I don't want it to be the first thing that you guys see in this video. So instead, I'm just going to talk about it at the end or just put the numbers different on, at the end. And and that's it. Like, I really want to share some thoughts and after talk about the numbers. And this is actually the first topic I want to talk about in this diary. I feel like, I don't, I wouldn't call it an addiction, but I just feel like I'm kind of addicted to numbers in in sort of a good and bad ways. Sometimes I see myself using my phone just to check the views on a video that I just uploaded because I'm like, oh my yo, this guy, this one is gonna work, this one is gonna work. And I refresh, I refresh, I refresh. And sometimes I meditate back on this and I'm like, bro, this is not really like this is not really what I want to do. Like how how can I be so obsessed with views? And I don't know, I don't feel like it's healthy. I really don't think it's healthy because if I do this in the long run, well, I will literally never be satisfied. And I don't know, I thought I was going to mention it in this diary just to meditate on it maybe like in a week, a month or two months or so. I just feel like I'm too addicted to results. Uh, YouTube gives you so many data and analytics and like the green arrow and the red arrow and all that stuff. It gives you an incentive to go and check back again and again and again on the app just to see how many views, how many comments, how many likes. And in one way, I think it's awesome because, well, you're allowed to see what's up and what's going on with your channel and how a video is working. But in another way, it just shifts your focus to something that really doesn't really matter. Uh, as much as I want to see my channel grow, as much as I want to see new subscribers coming in, new people comment commentating, uh, commenting on videos... I, I don't want to be the kind of guy that becomes like addicted to likes and and, and stuff. I feel like this is a sign of like almost, um, I don't want to say self-worth necessarily because I mean I'm pretty confident in myself, but I feel like it just gives me validation somehow and I don't want to take validation upon likes or views or subscri subscription. I want to take validation on the work I put in, on my, my talks, on my gameplays, uh, and overall on my content. So this is really something I want to shift and I want to change. And if you guys are YouTubers, I feel like views are important, follows are important to track, uh, especially if you're successful and you see numbers going down so that you can react. But I feel like when you start YouTube, this is not what you want to focus on because, well, you're not treating YouTube as a business. You're just treating YouTube as a side thing and, and it's just whatever. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And I feel like I've been almost mimicking what a successful YouTuber would do. And I don't think this is the right choice. Like, I think I, I need to take things step by step. Maybe look at the numbers after a week or two and, like, see if a video did well. Um, and... And just that's it. Like not like sometimes I see myself refreshing, refreshing, refreshing on my app, and I'm like, this is not really healthy, and this is really not helping. Like it's not motivating to see that your videos don't make a lot of views, or that this video that you thought was gonna blow up that didn't blow up. It's just not healthy. So this is it for the first topic. The, the second topic I wanted to meditate on with you guys on this diary is um, content identity. So. I don't know if it's the right. I don't know if it's the right title, of course, but I feel like my channel has a lot of different stuff, and I'm having trouble ident uh, identifying what I'm doing, and I think this needs to change. So right now in my video, besides this YouTube diary that I always put in on the side on this playlist that I will maybe look in two and three years or whatever, I see that I have gameplay videos, I have guides, I have tips on League of Legends. But all the way on the side, I just talk about esports, I talk about business stuff, I talk about just entrepreneurial stuff that interests me, uh, websites that are cool in the gaming industry, like I did a video about mood.gg, uh, that was very interesting, this video did very well, but I'm like, what is really my channel about? Like when I see, when I see success, uh, successful YouTubers' videos, I usually see an, an identity, like a... Um, a red tape or something like that like you see what the channel is about by just clicking the first video and you seeing the same content and the same content so this is what works on YouTube I don't think this is what I personally like on YouTube like I like youtubers that have 
a personality, so like this guy on the camera, I like what he does, and if he does this, I would like it, if he does that, I would like it, etc, etc. Like, I like this type of YouTubers, and I try to mimic it, like, I try to have a personality, show you my opinions, my gameplay, my interest, and my feelings about stuff, so that no matter what, if I do this game, or this game, or if I talk about this, or suddenly I start doing, start talking about business, or like, entrepreneurial stuff, you guys are here because, well... You're, you're more attracted by the personality that I show on camera than by the content itself. Uh, and this is why I don't want to be some sort of like one trick pony of League of Legends that plays one champion because it isn't really me. Like I do enjoy speaking to the mic. Uh, I do enjoy those contents where I get to talk to an audience like that. Big or small, it really doesn't matter. And I don't know. So I'm kind of debating like about my channel identity. Uh... I wouldn't feel comfortable playing one champion in one game and just doing one video a day and that's it and like and just shoving up like your your face. I don't think it works anymore. I don't think that's what people are here for. But again, YouTube doesn't stop surprising me. I see stuff on the training page that are absolutely awful and stuff that I don't understand myself. So this is really me wanting to do research, wanting to just know about like how some YouTubers are successful, how some YouTubers started blowing up, and this is something I'm really curious about. And this is interesting to my third topic, which is, I want to start doing diaries with other YouTubers. So, this is just an idea, but I feel like this YouTube diary thing could be some sort of podcast where I invite a YouTuber that I look, um, uh, I look like, I look, I don't know, I look up to, I guess, and... It's just it's gonna be a conversation about YouTube. Like, how did you get started? How how was like what's your story? Like, I I genuinely wish there was uh, stories about YouTubers. There's a lot of YouTubers doing like draw my life, and they explain like their childhood and parents and school and stuff, but they don't really emphasize on how did it start on YouTube. Because right now, I feel like my as I'm doing this, as I'm writing the, the first chapter of my YouTube story, etc., etc., I, I kind of want to see if there's something similar to those people. Like, for example, I like the only YouTubers doing, like, that much videos with that less rewards. Um, I feel like I've done a lot of videos in the past. I've done a lot of videos that are public right now. I think, like, 270. There's 270 videos on my channel, uh, which, is, which has been a lot of work and a lot of passion behind them. But I would, I would feel better if I know that a YouTuber that today has success found success after hundreds and hundreds of videos. It would really, uh, I feel like it will help me understand what's going on. Maybe get some tips out of the YouTubers that I interview during the podcast or the show or whatever. And it could help you also guys just to understand how some YouTubers uh, are and how they treat the YouTube channel and how they go about it. And... I don't know. Overall, I thought it could be an amazing idea. I will start to reach out to some YouTubers and see if they would be interested. Obviously, um, I understand if they were not because they can clearly do it by themselves. But if they are, I will start to contact some maybe League of Legends YouTubers. Maybe some some people that have like a hundred thousand uh, subscribers to start with, and then go up the ladder and even like fifty thousand or even like ten thousand subscribers. Like I don't know. I will look around. I'll send some emails. But let me know if you think about, let me know if you think that it's a good idea and if you guys would enjoy listening to some YouTubers' stories about their YouTube journey. So yeah, this is it guys for this YouTube diary. I really wanted to express myself on those three points. Me being addicted to numbers, which I don't think it's healthy. Uh, my I, The channel's identity and this diary podcast and hearing from other YouTubers' story. I think it could be an amazing idea. Last week guys, I talked about doing collabs and I still haven't done any collabs. I, I don't know. I feel like I need... Um, I don't think I don't know. I need, I need to show value to a YouTuber before I can do collabs, because right now I feel like I can do collabs talking about esports, talking about YouTube, and this could be an interesting conversation to have. But some YouTubers only do gameplay, and I don't know if I'm like I don't know if they have the time. I don't know if they get a hundred email per day. So I don't know. I'm kind of self conscious about sending emails for collabs, even though I feel like it's an amazing way to promote your content and just have fun. But yeah. I'll definitely think about it. I think it's a good idea. It's still in my mind, guys. I'm still thinking of doing collabs with some people. I'm still looking for channels that have, like, maybe a little more subscribers than me or just about the same so maybe we can, like, do something together. 
I think, I think, yeah, I, I think it could be interesting overall, and I still have this on my mind, so I'm not giving up the idea of doing collabs. So yeah, that was it for this episode four, I believe, of the YouTube diary. After my conclusion, some numbers are gonna pop up for the followers and all that stuff for YouTube and for Facebook and all and all that. Uh, so stay if you want to see my progression. I think I did gain a lot of Facebook and no, I did gain a lot of YouTube and uh, Twitter following and views. Uh, during like since the last episode so yeah we'll see how this goes thank you so much guys for being here and following this journey guys uh, I'll see you for the next episode in about seven to ten days I feel like I'm doing this this thing every seven to ten days every week is a little bit too much I feel like I don't have a lot to meditate on but every time I have a topic I write it on a piece of paper and I'm like oh I'm mentioning like I'm actually having some sort of diary on paper but I throw it away after uh, because then I talk about it but I try to write topics that are on my mind like maybe I get discouraged and I try to write like why I'm discouraged and what's up with that and all that stuff so thank you so much guys for being here if uh, if you like this video don't forget to put a thumbs up make sure to subscribe make sure you introduce your friends to my channel it would help a lot uh, I'll see you for the next one guys cheers